Welcome, everyone. You are listening to Takeaways Podcast, Episode 4. This limited series is a special look into my new book, Takeaways, Secret Truths from Leading a Startup. This podcast is for entrepreneurs and other business owners anywhere who need some quick direction anytime they find themselves at a difficult crossroads. It's exactly what I needed when I was facing difficult daily decisions in the early weeks and months of my startup loop. I'm your host, Brian Friedman. I'm currently the VP of Digital Innovation at Aventry, and previously I was the CEO and founder of Loot in Silicon Valley and then San Francisco. Today, I'm going to share with you how to disrupt a single industry. So let's get started. In early 2015, we were preparing to launch at South by Southwest and had an identity crisis. While writing a press release, we needed to give a description of our vision for Looped, and we drew a blank. We understood our product, we knew where we started, but we had stumbled across an unexpected immediate need to reevaluate our mission. Companies in Silicon Valley are one of two things, disruptors or enablers. Disruptors make vertical plays and solve pervasive problems in specific industries. Enablers, on the other hand, create powerful global tools that solve a common problem across many industries. While their purposes differ, the end goal is the same, scale to the point of profitable exit or pursue an initial public offering known as an IPO. Among startups, it is common to begin with one purpose and then pivot to another in order to scale. Many companies pivot before even launching, so it's hard to measure the true success rate of a post-launch pivot. Changing course after a launch is risky. You can lose investors who dislike the new direction, early customers loyal to the first version, or both. The original idea for Looped came from the simple idea of exchanging contact information naturally, like an unobtrusive handshake at a business conference. From the original inspiration, we developed a wristband handshaking concept, but quickly swapped it out for a digital badge that attached to a necklace or a lanyard with an on and off button technology. Even though our technical approach and user experience changed, we remained loyal to solving the same problem, elegantly exchanging contact information to form high-quality professional networks. While a horizontal enabler play focuses broadly on a technology, we were determined to use different kinds of technology to solve an even narrow human problem. Despite our specialized focus, we were constantly asked if our networking approach could solve other problems, perhaps bigger, more critical ones in industries like healthcare or supply chain operations. We started to get lost in the endless what-ifs proposed by possible investors, but were fortunately saved by a conversation with the trusted advisor who helped us make a final decision. He reminded us that investors are on a constant hunt for horizontal plays that serve all markets. These investors spin big ideas and inspire a metaphorical frenzy, like attempting to take out a hive of bees by swatting madly at the entire swarm at once. Instead of taking out the swarm, the horizontal play can easily destroy the hive or the business. Instead, entrepreneurs should focus on a single bee, aim carefully and attack. After killing one bee, move on to the next, and the next, and the next until extinction. After hearing this, it became clear that the disruptor route in a single industry, such as business conferences, was the best path for our company. With the specialized focus, we could hopefully attract investors who could help us move on to healthcare and other critical industries after our technology is proven and refined. And that's the show. Thanks for listening to the Takeaways Podcast, which is produced every Tuesday for your enjoyment. And show notes can always be found on my blog on Medium at ownit. Come back often and feel free to add the podcast to your favorite RSS feed. You can also follow me on Instagram, and you can sign up for more info on my new book at takeawaysbook.com. All of the links are going to be in the show notes, and until next time, keep following your dreams and own it.